Charismatic Pentecostal churches in Kenya started in the cities and have now extended to the rural areas. Reinhard Bonke is in the country. Bonke, who arrived this evening, is expected to hold a great Jubilee Gospel Crusade at the Uhuru Park grounds that's starting Wednesday this week. Upon his arrival, the evangelist said the crusade is in line with Kenya's commemoration of her 50th anniversary since I independence. I pray that during this week, the Lord may bless each and every one in, in a way and the country as such and the government and everything. 50 years of independence, how wonderful. It all comes together. And I believe God is going to bless in a mighty way. So welcome to Uhuru Park as of Wednesday this week. The highest percentage of members in the charismatic Pentecostal churches in Kenya, as this study established, were formerly members of the mainstream churches. This implies the charismatic churches offer what seems to lack in the mainstream church. Mariah Chapel, situated in the residential area in a small town of Lahore in South Wales, is known throughout the world as the birthplace of the 1904 Welsh Revival. The man whom God used to play a leading role in this revival was Evan Roberts. Born in Lahore in 1878 and into a godly family, from a young age, Evan Roberts was deeply devoted to the Word of God and never left home without carrying his Bible with him. When he grew up and started working in the mines, at every spare moment available, he would be found reading the Word of God, seated on a piece of coal, absorbed in God's Word. Azusa Street Revival April 9th, 1906 The location, 214 Bonnie Bray Street On the third day of a 10-day fast, William Seymour began to preach to the prayer group from Acts chapter 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Afterwards, Mr. Edward Lee asked Seymour to lay hands on him as they did in the Scriptures and pray that he would receive the Holy Ghost. When they finished, Lee lifted his hands and began speaking in tongues. This experience sent shockwaves through the room, and at the same time, a young lady named Jenny Moore fell from her stool where she was sitting. The power of God fell, and I was baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire with the evidence of speaking in tongues. As I looked at God, it seemed as if a vessel broke within me, and water surged up through my being. Latter rain movement. The third wave in the Toronto Blessings began in the early 21st century with a motif to reach the entire globe with the gospel. Speaking in tongues, singing praises to God. Recently, a gathering called Light the Fire Again rocked this place where the revival known as a Toronto Blessing happened. In 1994, as guest speaker Randy Clark ministered, along with pastors John and Carol Arnott, the Holy Spirit suddenly took over the service. This happened again powerfully day after day for years, drawing people from around the world. Heidi Baker came from Mozambique, where she was a missionary, and saw her life radically transformed in Toronto. I was a burned out missionary. I was so burned out that even though I have a PhD in systematic theology, I didn't want to teach theology. I literally wanted to work at Kmart. I was that tired. But I came here, I had double pneumonia. First thing that happened, I was completely healed. Then I saw Jesus, burning eyes of fiery love. Now she leads a global ministry that started some 11,000 churches. Dancing for the Lord and healing among others became the identifying features for the movements. You can see my face. Yes, you are right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Chris Hackpan was a proud Nigerian farmer. One day, a severe eye irritation rendered him blind. <laughs> I suddenly felt teardrops coming out of my eyes and they started itching and I was scratching my eyes and gradually I became blind. 
Chris suffered in a dark depression for 12 agonizing years. Then one day, he heard that a Reinhard Bonnke gospel campaign was coming to a nearby village. When I heard about the campaign, I called a man with a motorcycle to take me to the venue. We arrived at 3 o'clock and another person came and he led me to the stage area. As Reinhard Bonnke began to pray for God's healing power, he instructed those in need to place a hand on their ailment. I placed my hands on my eyes, and as he was praying, I felt teardrops. I wiped away the tears, and I could see. Chris made his way to the stage to explain what happened. <laughs> Who brought you here? Can you now see? You can see my face? Yes. Yeah, white man. Hallelujah! Amen. Am I a tall man? Am I a small man? No, you're a big man. Come on, cat. Follow me. Follow me. Hallelujah! Once he was blind, but now he can see! Now that I'm able to see, I am so happy, and I praise God who has made it possible for me to see again. In East Africa, the movement arrived in 1960s and 70s through the ministry of evangelists such as Billy My point to you is saying God's words are powerful. God created the world with words. He gave us the power to use words. We're the only creatures he ever created with the power of words. Words are seeds. Seeds are energy. Seeds energize of their kind. Healing seeds from God's word will produce healing in people. Blessing seeds from God's word planted in them will produce blessings. Love seeds from God's word transmitted by us into people by them hearing us, will create the fruit of love in anybody, even an opponent who makes the mistake of listening. In Kenya, Joe Kayo, David Kamani of Bethel Mission, and Margaret Wangari became the first proponents of the movement. Bishop Arthur Katanga of Redeemed Gospel Church also played a major role in shaping the movement. Same watu wote even your neighbors na wale mnachokoza na wale mnafanya nao waambie mimi nimeokoka nimekosa me Yesu asije nitakuja siku nyingine hapa sa main service ni warudie tena ni wahubirie mahali Mungu amenizungumzia juu ya any time signs ambao sasa simefika almost 99 or simefikia 100% Wakati huu tuko naye ni wakati wa kutubu na tutembee kwa utakatifu na eh, Matthew 6 23 ndio hebu niwasomee ya mwisho sasa Inasema Seek ye the kingdom of God Tafuteni That 3 6 that 3 siko naye hapa lakini niko naye kwa akili Mathayo 6 33 Inasema six, hizi. That three, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added to you. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about the history of the Pentecostal Church in Kenya? Kindly subscribe to our channel ring the bell for notifications. Or write your comment below.
Your Christian News Channel. Empire Media Express. Empire Media Express is a Christian news channel, which will be bringing you news updates and cover Christian events. Empire Media Express, your trusted Christian channel. Your Christian News Channel. Empire Media Express.